hello all welcome to our channel civil engineering education so in today's video we are going to discuss about overhead water tank so the complete detailed estimate of a overhead water tank so this video is going to be very interesting and don't skip the video in middle watch the video till end and if you are new to the channel do subscribe and follow our channel so let's try to understand the drawing first right so this is the section of a overhead water tank and this is the plan of a overhead water tank right so let us try to understand the plan first so this plan is going to be looking like this so all these four four corners are arranged with columns and footings right here you can see in the section so these are columns and under every column there will be a footing right so in the same way this is one footing this is another footing this is another and this is another total four footings are there right and here in this corners four corners four columns will be arranged right so the outer to outer dimension from this end to this end right outer to outer dimension from this end to this end here you can see from this end to this end so it is 6.6 .6 meters so on the other side also it will be 6.6 .6 meters only right because this is a square shaped figure and these are called beams these are called beams right this dotted lines are given now so these dotted lines and this end these are nothing but beams okay over these beams this two dark lines these lines are nothing but walls here you can see rcc side walls rcc side walls are arranged over this columns and slab so this dark lines you can see these are walls and from here to this dotted line dashed line so this is nothing but a beam and the internal dimensions internal dimensions for a tank so these dimensions are of tank here you can see this is rcc tank and from this point to this point so this is nothing but 6 meters okay 6 meters by 6 meters internal dimension now coming to this section part so this is ground level and there is a structure below ground level this is called substructure and the structure above ground level is called superstructure right so this is called neck column and this is called a footing right this is sloped type of footing so here in the section we can see two footings and size of footing is 2500 mm by 2500 mm right x direction 2500 mm y direction 2500 mm and the thickness of this pcc this part you can see this is nothing but pcc pcc of thickness 200 mm right this is pcc thickness of 200 mm and above this pcc this is nothing but a footing only up to here this is nothing but a footing in footing there are two different depths like this square portion depth and this sloped portion depth right so this square portion depth is 250 mm sloped portion depth is 500 mm okay and total depth of this foundation is 3500 mm right and in the same way this footing also same dimensions now above ground level we'll see above ground level this is a column which is raised from this top of footing to bottom of this slab same way from here to here okay till here so these two are called columns this is called a beam this is called a beam this is also called as a beam three layers of beams are there this layer and this layer of beam is called brace beam here you can see rcc brace beam this layer and this layer are called rcc brace beams this layer is called as a ring beam ring beam is nothing but this is a beam which is exactly in contact with bottom slab bottom slab of tank right so we need to identify this difference so these two layers are called brace beams this beam is called a ring beam so sizes are different 
So brace beams are of size 450 mm by 600 mm and ring beam is of size 600 mm by 600 mm and this column size is 500 mm by 500 mm right so column size we came to know and brace beams and also ring beams now coming to this elevation part so from ground level to bottom of this beam the height is 3000 mm right and from this bottom to middle of this beam is 3000 mm now from this middle to top of this slab is 2500 mm right and next height of this rcc side walls is 1.5 meter and top slab thickness this is top slab which is arranged over this walls so here you can see rcc slab of 150 mm thick right so this is the actual structure so in estimation we should not uh, concentrate on this because we are calculating only structural parts right so don't consider this this is ladder and this is other gate valve and reflex valve and everything will be arranged here here air vents are also arranged so when we are calculating a particular figure we have to uh, concentrate only on the particular structure right so this is about the explanation of rcc overhead water tank now let us see the calculation part in calculation part so this is the table of a detailed estimate right detailed estimation table of a overhead water tank so this table will be consisting of total eight columns serial number description numbers length breadth depth quantity total quantity right so we have to fill this table according to the figure now in this table we have calculated all this like earthwork excavation pcc and rcc for footing rcc for columns brace beams ring beams base slab top slab rcc for side walls and also plastering for inside walls so these all items of calculation we have done for this overhead water tank now let's start with earthwork excavation so every structure will be having earthwork excavation so numbers are four here you can see in the figure here there are four footings are there four columns and four footings so numbers will be four so here i have written four and length of each footing that is nothing but pcc in earthwork excavation we have to take the dimension of pcc so pcc dimension is 2.5 meter by 2.5 meter right so here you can see in the figure so this is 2.5 meter and other side also 2.5 meter and when we are calculating excavation part we have to take the depth so depth how we will calculate directly this one right so from ground level to bottom of this pcc is our depth that is 3.5 meter so here i have written 3.5 meter as the depth of excavation so length into breadth into depth is equal to the quantity l into b into d is equal to quantity to get the total quantity this quantity multiplied by numbers right so quantity multiplied by numbers is equal to 87.50 meter cube so earthwork excavation is calculated in meter cube so we got 87.50 meter cube as the quantity of earthwork for four footings in the similar way pcc plain cement concrete of 1 is to 4 is to 8 mix ratio so here numbers numbers are also will be 4 here you can see this is pcc this quantity we have to calculate so this can be calculated for 4 1 2 3 4 footings so here pcc 4 numbers 2.5 by 2.5 meters and thickness of pcc is 0 0.2 meters that is 200 mm so length into breadth into depth is equal to quantity we got 1.25 meter cube for one footing pcc if we multiply quantity into numbers we will get this one total quantity 5 cubic meter is the quantity of pcc next one is rcc for footing right rcc for footing so how can we calculate the quantity of rcc for footing so 
as this is a sloped footing this footing is divided into two parts to calculate this footing into uh, to calculate this quantity of the footing we will divide this footing into two parts so what are the two parts let's see so this is the footing right so over this footing i'll divide like this this is part 1 this is part 2 so this is having other depth and this is having other depth right so part 1 we have to calculate separately part 2 we have to calculate separately okay so here this part 1 i am calling it as a rectangular portion and part 2 it is called called as a tapered portion so here i have written rectangular portion and tapered portion so numbers are 4 and 4 because 4 footings are there so in case of a rectangular portion here you can see this is 2.5 meters right so this is 2.5 meter so other side also 2.5 meter so this depth uh, what is the depth here here you can see square portion depth is 250 mm sloped portion depth is 500 mm so so this is 250 mm and this is 500 mm so the same thing we have written here for rectangular portion four numbers 2.5 meter by 2.5 meter length and breadth and depth is 250 mm 0.25 meters i have written in meters so length into breadth into depth is equal to quantity right so in the same way tapered portion four numbers here in case of tapered portion we have to take the average of this one so here there is a column of size 0.5 meter by 0.5 meter so this is 0.5 meter and this is 2.5 meter right we have to take the average of this one and this one so 2.5 plus 0.5 divided by 2 here we will get 0. Point, sorry this is 1.5 meter right so 1.5 meter is the average of these two so here in case of tapered portion i have written 1.5 meter by 1.5 meter as the average dimension and depth of this sloped portion is 500 mm so same thing i have written here 0 0.5 meter length into breadth into depth is equal to quantity right so here if we add these two 1.56 and 1.13 we will get 2.69 meter cube as the quantity of rcc so this is for one footing here we are having four numbers so 2.69 multiplied by 4 is equal to 10.75 meter cube is the quantity of rcc required for this footings right now we will see rcc columns so just now i explained what is an rcc column this vertical member is called as a rcc column the column is raising from this top of footing right from top of footing to this bottom of slab so this complete height we have to calculate right so breadth and length is here length and breadth is 500 mm by 500 mm 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 meter and height we have to calculate from here to here so already i have calculated the height so below ground level i got the height as 2.5 meter plus above ground level i got the height as 8.25 meters right so below ground level means from here to here only from here to here i have calculated the height as 2.55 meter and above ground level from here to this bottom of slab i got the height as 8.25 meters so below ground level 2.55 plus above ground level 8.25 meters now there are four number of columns length is 0 0.5 meter breadth is 0 0.5 meter and height of the column is 10.80 meters right if you add these two we will be getting 10.80 meters as the height of column 
सो ले इंटू ब्रेड इंटू डेप्थ इज इक्वल टू क्वांटी टू गेट दि टोटल क्वांटी क्वांटी मल्टीप्लाइड बै नंबर इज इक्वल टू टोटल क्वांटी रईट इन द सेम वे ब्रेस बीम्स सो ब्रेस बीम्स आर् डिफरेंट एंड रिंग बीम इज डिफरेंट सो ब्रेस बीम इज नथिंग बट दिस बीम रईट इन कॉलम्स आलरे वी हव क्यालुलेटेड दिस पर्टिक्युर् क्वांटी ब्रेस बीम्स वी हव टू क्यालुलेट फ्रम दिस एंड टू दिस एंड सो दिस विल बी दि ले आफ ए ब्रेस बीम रईट फ्रम दिस एंड टू दिस एंड इज दि ले आफ ए ब्रेस बीम एंड डैमेंशन लाइक ब्रेड इज फोर फिफ्टी एम एम एंड डेप्थ इज सिक्स हंड्रेड एम एम ओके हियर ले आफ ब्रेस बीम सो हियर फस्ट लेयर एंड सेकेंड लेयर सो टू लेयर्स आर देर नो दिस इज वन लेयर दिस इज अनदर लेयर सो इन ईच लेयर देर आर फोर नंबर दिस इज वन दिस इज टू दिस इज थ्री एंड दिस इज फोर इन ईच लेयर फोर बीम्स विल बी देर ईच लेयर फोर बीम्स एंड देर आर टोटल टू लेयर्स सो फोर इंटू टू इज एट नंबर राइट नाउ वील नो दि ले फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स वी गॉट हाउ वी गॉट दैट ले सो फ्रम औट टू औट इट इज सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर्स फ्रम दिस एंड टू दिस एंड इट इज सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर्स हाउ टू गेट द ले फ्रम दिस एंड टू दिस एंड दैट मीन वी हव टू डिडक्ट दिस विथ एंड दिस विथ सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर्स मैनस दिस सैड फाइव हंड्रेड एम एम दिस सैड फाइव हंड्रेड एम एम वी हव टू डिडक्ट सो हाउ मच वील गेट सो फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस फाइव हंड्रेड इज थाउजेंड एम एम दट इज वन मीटर अगेन सो सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मैनस वन मीटर इज ईक्वल टू फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर सो द सेम थिंग आई हव रिटर्न हियर सो ब्रेस बीम्स ऑफ ले फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर एंड ब्रेड इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव मीटर एंड डेप्थ इज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर सो हियर यू कैन सी फोर फिफ्टी एम एम बाई सिक्स हंड्रेड एम एम सॉरी फोर फिफ्टी एम एम बाई सिक्स हंड्रेड एम एम हियर यू कैन सी दिस इज दि डायमेंशन ऑफ ए ब्रेस बीम सो द सेम थिंग आई हव रिटर्न फोर फिफ्टी बाई सिक्स हंड्रेड एम एम आई गॉट दि क्वांटी एस दिस वन सिंगल क्वांटी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एट नंबर्स आई गॉट ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन जीरो क्यूबिक मीटर एज दि क्वांटी ऑफ ब्रेस बीम्स सेम लाइक ब्रेस बीम रिंग बीम वी हव टू कैलकुलेट सो दिस इज रिंग बीम राइट सो आर सी सी रिंग बीम ऑफ साइज सिक्स हंड्रेड एम एम बाई सिक्स हंड्रेड एम एम सो ले विल बी सेम राइट ले विल बी सेम ब्रेड एंड डेप्थ विल बी चेंजिंग इन केस ऑफ आर सी सी रिंग बीम नंबर आर फोर बिकॉज ओनली वन लेयर इज देर फॉर वन लेयर फोर बीम्स विल बी देर फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर इज दि ले जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स बाई जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर इज दि ब्रेड एंड डेप्थ ऑफ बीम सो ले इंटू ब्रेड इंटू डेप्थ इज इक्वल टू क्वांटी टू गेट दि टोटल क्वांटी क्वांटी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई नंबर टोटल क्वांटी इज एट पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स मीटर क्यूब नाउ वील सी आर सी सी फॉर बेस स्लैब सो नंबर वन एंड आर सी सी फॉर टॉप स्लैब सो द कैलकुलेशन विल बी सेम नंबर वन नंबर वन टॉप स्लैब इज वन एंड बेस स्लैब इज वन नाउ हियर यू कैन सी दिस इज बॉटम स्लैब राइट दिस इज टॉप स्लैब हियर यू कैन सी आर सी सी स्लैब ऑफ वन फिफ्टी एम एम थिक एंड आर सी सी स्लैब दिस इज बेस स्लैब ऑफ टू फिफ्टी एम एम थिक नाउ ले वी हैव टू टेक फ्रॉम दिस एंड टू दिस एंड ऑन अदर साइड ऑल्सो सेम सो हियर यू कैन सी द डायमेंशन इज सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर इन दिस डायरेक्शन फ्रॉम एंड टू एंड दिस डायरेक्शन ऑल्सो सेम सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स ओनली नाउ फॉर बोथ दिस स्लैब्स सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर इज द ले सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर इज द ब्रेड एंड फॉर टॉप स्लैब ऑल्सो सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर इज द ले सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर इज द ब्रेड हियर द डिफरेंस इज द थिकनेस इज चेंजिंग थिकनेस ऑफ स्लैब इज चेंजिंग हियर यू कैन सी फॉर बेस स्लैब द थिकनेस इज टू फिफ्टी एम एम फॉर टॉप स्लैब द थिकनेस इज वन फिफ्टी एम एम हियर आई हेव रिटर्न टू डिफरेंट थिकनेस बेस स्लैब टू फिफ्टी एम एम थिकनेस एंड टॉप स्लैब वन फिफ्टी एम एम थिकनेस दट इज जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव सो सेम एल इन टू बी इन टू डी इज इक्वल टू क्वांटी एल इन टू बी इन टू डी इज इक्वल टू क्वांटी टू गेट द टोटल क्वांटी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई नंबर इन द सेम वे आर सी सी फॉर साइड वॉल्स राइट सो दिस साइड वॉल क्वांटी ऑल्सो वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट सो दिस वॉल्स लाइक ए वन रूम प्लान सेम लाइक ए वन रूम प्लान हियर यू कैन सी वॉल्स लुक्स लाइक दिस 
this is water tank wall right so this is the thickness of wall what is the thickness given here here you can see rcc side wall of 300 mm thick so this is 0 0.3 meter thick so this wall is of 0 0.3 meter thick so we have to find the quantity of this particular wall it is same like a one room plan okay so in one room plan how we will calculate we will find out the center to center dimension of this one and center to center dimension of this one right so here center to center dimensions i got as 6.3 meter 6.3 meter so these two dimensions center to center 6.3 6.3 i got so when we got the center to center dimension we will use the formula of a perimeter 2 into l plus b is equal to 25.2 meters as the complete this center line perimeter length right this complete center line perimeter length so this is length and thickness of wall is 300 mm here i have written 0 0.3 and height of the wall it is 1.5 meter so height of the wall is 1.5 meter which you can see here this is the height of this particular wall so length into breadth into depth is equal to quantity multiplied by one number is equal to total quantity that is 11.34 meter cube now coming to the plastering part so in case of plastering for inside of walls so this inside walls right so here you can see this side so this side we have to do the plastering how can we do the plastering so this internal to internal dimension of this one room here you can see internal dimension of the tank so from this end to this end the dimension is 6 meter by 6 meter so how to find the perimeter of this complete tank so in the same way 2 into l plus b is equal to 6 plus 6 multiplied by 2 so here we will get total 24 meters as the internal perimeter length of this particular tank and length multiplied by height will give us the plastering area area of the wall here same height we have to take that is 1.5 meter so here i have written length as 24 and height of the wall is 1.5 meter so if you do this multiplication we will be getting 36 meter square in case of plastering we have to write the unit as meter square right so into numbers is equal to total quantity so this is the complete calculation of a overhead water tank so i hope you understood this so in case if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section i will be clearing your doubt so if you like this video hit the like button and if you are new to the channel do subscribe and thanks for watching